Who's your daddy? And in response, Cortana quips, "Technically, that would be Bill Gates. No big deal. We've come a long way from 2011 when Apple launched the world's first virtual assistant, loaded inside the Apple iPhone 4S. Even though Microsoft started developing voice recognition nearly 10 years ago and failed miserably during a 2008 launch of its early voice recognition function on Windows, it is only in the last few years that we've seen a host of products in the market that can be controlled using voice." Today's market is alive with artificially intelligent virtual assistants like Apple's Siri, Google Now, Microsoft's Cortana, and Amazon's Alexa to name a few. Backed by enormous amounts of data which these technologies have the option of tapping into, they constantly evolve from learning new accents to building their vocabulary, literal and otherwise. People have raised the issue of privacy invasion considering the amount of personal data these virtual assistants have access to. All virtual assistants have their own quirks aside from the obvious advantages they provide in terms of replacing traditional interfaces between users and machines and being able to provide the right amount of data at the right time. However, one common problem they all face to address is that of understanding beyond the words that are spoken the context in which they are spoken.